Peace and Security Council that has the two states to remove the Sudan Armed Forces and then the police. And this is quite encouraging. And in my meeting with them, we discuss the mechanism of implementing the, uh, this resolution. And the minister kindly has started the process already of uh, removing the, uh, the police from ABA. And, uh, and I'm going ahead today in order to prepare the implementation of this resolution. And the ministry will be sending also very senior officials that are going to effect these decisions. I think it is a big credit to the people of Sudan, South Sudan, uh, by living up to the commitment to the international community. And this will send a very powerful signal how we are so committed for issues of peace and stability in the area. And we hope this also will signal to the Sudan government now it is time for them to remove the Sudan armed forces who are still in the VA area. So I'm quite encouraged by the, the, the decision of the ministry, and then they have taken this one very seriously. And this is a message I would like to take home to ABA today.